Got some goodies. How freaking cute is this? Exercising or just lounging? What's up guys and welcome to today's video. I am so pumped to be recording today. Obviously with the current pandemic situation, most thrift stores have been closed and while that's completely understandable, I have missed it mucho. I think I've actually gone thrifting three times since everything has been opened and I have seriously found some good stuff. I don't know about you guys, but I went through a lot of my stuff during quarantine and I'm sure everybody else did so I feel like Everyone just dropped all their stuff off at the thrift store, like right when they started opening again. I've got all sorts of different pieces for you guys today, and I really have just grabbed my favorite items from all of my different thrift store experiences thus far post-quarantine. I really love doing these videos because I feel like I didn't really find my style until I went thrifting. I always went to the mall in like high school, and I just never found anything that I was in love with and that like, really spoke to me if that makes sense. I feel like when you go to the mall all the stores have the same style products in them like some of them veer off a little bit depending on where you go but the ones that do veer off are usually higher in price and I fucking hate that. So <laughs> I love the thrift store because you can literally find any style you want for a good price. So. Aside from it being really awesome for the environment and really awesome for your wallet, it is just a really cool place to just kind of discover new things, find cool treasures that you really wouldn't think would be a treasure until you like laid eyes on it, saw the price, and was like, damn, I love this. I just genuinely love thrifting and the thrift store so much, and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. Every time I do a video like this, I get so pumped up to show you what I got. Every time I get home, I run to Austin and I'm like, with my bag, I'm like, look at the things I got from the thrift store! <laughs> Austin and my dogs are not enough to show what I actually got. You guys are gonna be blessed with the same. And for those of you who don't have thrift stores open yet, I went ahead and recorded my actual thrift store experience so you guys could imagine yourselves being there with me sifting through all the wonderful racks. So let's jump over to that right now.
Our first item today is a t-shirt. <laughs> what else did you expect? Actually a Real Steel Tools t-shirt. Just one of those cool dad shirts. And honestly, I just thought it was one of those perfect fits and the logo is really cool. One thing when you're buying t-shirts, if you're like me and you like the oversized but shorter t-shirts, look for t-shirts that have more of a square style. Shirts that have more of a rectangle style are going to be longer and skinnier and shirts that have more of that square style are going to be bigger but shorter. I pretty much already know when I see a shirt that looks like this on the hanger, <laughs> it's going to be a perfect fit. So just a little tip for my t-shirt lovers. Next up, one of my favorite t-shirts I have found so far. I love noodles! And I love nudes, not gonna lie. Send me both. I'm just kidding. Honestly, don't have anything to say about it. <laughs> it's just a great t-shirt. For a perfect staple item, we've got a cute little Adidas tee. Where for actually exercising or just lounge in. One thing I forgot to mention, because of the pandemic, the dressing rooms are closed right now. So what they've done is actually extended the timeline of when you can return things, which I actually didn't know you could return things at the thrift store anyway, uh, but I guess you could just exchange them for something else. I don't think you can technically return. I went ahead and just washed all these instead of, you know, trying them on and seeing if they're gonna fit me when I got home simply because I just wanted to be sanitary and if they don't fit me, everything was probably less than like $10, so I'll just donate it again, no big deal. <laughs> Next, I've got a couple shorts for you. <laughs> These, I definitely feel, are a little bit big in the crotch area, but I don't really mind because I feel like they'll be like really nice just like shorts to run errands in. Really liked the buttons and the length of these shorts. I've been really into like not Daisy Dukes. I mean, I love a good pair of Daisy Dukes, but I've been into shorts that are a little bit longer as well lately. I just think they're actually super flattering. So yeah, when I found these, I was just like, ooh, gotta have them. These shorts are actually by the brand Pink, which I was really excited to find. I honestly find a lot of like Pink, Victoria's Secret, Calvin Klein, Lululemon, um, BB, Levi's, all those cool brands, I find them all the time, and if that's not a reason to make you want to go to the thrift store, then I don't know what is. They're gonna be a little cheeky, which I like. Gotta get that good ratio of cheeky to longer shorts, you know what I mean? Or don't, you don't have to do anything. Have short shorts or long shorts, or neither. So these shorts are actually that Tilly's brand Rescue, and every time I've bought jeans that are this Rescue brand, they never fit me quite right. But these are like super stretchy and really nice. So I snagged them up. Put on to some shirts. So I actually found this super cute and super sporty tank, and there's no stains on it. And I feel like normally people will donate white because they got a tiny little stain on it. So when I didn't see a stain on it, I was like, Ayo, I'm gonna grab it. I also grabbed this nice little flowy cropped tank. I just loved it. It's kind of like a tie-dye or almost like an acid wash fade style. And I just thought it was so cute. It's got a little razor back. 
This is one of my favorite tank tops I've ever found at the thrift store. It was actually a full length tank, but I cropped it myself. It's that, <laughs> it's that brand we all know and love, Hardtail. And they actually have such nice fabrics. They make a, a lot of those like, old school leggings with like the bedazzle, like <laughs> sort of like that Ed Hardy style, like very similar. And when I found it, it was just one of those cute tie-dye plain tanks and I just couldn't say no. So I grabbed it and cropped it to make this look. Okay, so because I feel like it's gonna go so well with this outfit, <laughs> meet my new corduroy pink jacket. How freaking cute is this? This is the one I tried on in the video and I I can definitely say this is one of my favorite jacket finds ever. Like just the color, the texture, the feel. I'm going to be wearing this the entire winter this year and I can't wait for it. So next to these shorts, these are really just regular black spandex shorts, but I wanted to show you guys these because the thrift store is a great place to find staple items like tank tops, spandex shorts, t-shirts, plain jean, anything, honestly plain anything. You can really go, if, you might have to go once or twice or to multiple stores, but if you're looking for something specific that's generally pretty plain, you'll be able to find it at the thrift store at some point. So rompers and dresses aren't typically my style, but I was invited to a bridal shower that is Kentucky Derby themed, and I saw this, and I thought it was absolutely perfect. Like, genuinely such a derby vibe, and I'll probably just wear it with a nice pair of heels, or some boots, and a big ass hat. The thrift store is literally where I find all of my like special event outfits. I will never ever pay full price for a dress or an outfit like this again because the thrift store has everything I have ever wanted to find. So this is actually one of those slip dresses that you technically should wear for bed, but these are really in style right now to match with like a long sleeve turtleneck or just like a cute tight tee underneath. And I just loved the colors of the flowers and just like the feel and style of the dress. And as I said, dresses and rompers aren't typically my style, but with a cute pair of shorts on underneath and some cute boots, I would just be living my life in this dress. So I found this really cute bodysuit onesie and I was just in love with it. It's like a nice plaid pattern. Very cheeky, perfect to wear with like a pair of shorts or a pair of jeans. I love it. The next few pieces are going to be swimwear and I know this might bother or like kind of gross out a couple people but I've never really cared. Like me and my girlfriends always you know, shared swimsuits and even underwear if needed, and you can't get any sicknesses, if, especially not if you wash it, and I usually wash bottoms twice just because I want to make sure that all the bacteria, if any, is gone, so yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about that, but enjoy. But these bottoms that I have on right now are actually from Victoria's Secret. But the coolest part about them was I actually got them with the tags still on, so that's pretty awesome. I did still wash them though, because <laughs> you never know. This top is actually an Arizona Jean Co. top. I'm not sure if it's a bathing suit or a swimsuit, but it came with this little top attached to it by like a little string and I cut it off. But I think it's a swimsuit. It's gotta be, right? Or just like a, I don't know. <laughs> but it's really cute. I bought it because I only wanted this part, but then I put this on and I was like, oh, that's actually genuinely really freaking cute. So for a little bit different style, we've got a complete Brazilian red and white polka dot bottom. I actually just love these so much. I don't think they're like super 
high quality, but they fit really nice, and polka dot bikinis are a staple. And the last, but not least, two pieces. So these bottoms are actually like a really cute vintage bathing suit bottom, and <laughs> I really like this style. I actually think they're super flattering and super cute. I've always been a huge fan of like old school swimsuits. And this top is actually just from Target, but it's like so cute. And it seems brand new. Like either they have really high quality bathing suits or this is brand spanking new as well. And that is all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you liked it, what you thought of my style, the pieces, if you would buy any. All that good stuff. I love hearing your opinion. Thank you once again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.